guys and welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a super exciting slip stitch join as you go crochet technique. I absolutely love this technique. I designed it specifically to use during the making of the polychromatic blanket which is one of my own designs. You can find it linked in the description box below but the possibilities for this technique are endless. You can make it using whatever yarn you want you can completely customize customize it depending on what project you want to make. And I highly recommend for you to just take this tutorial and run with it. Create anything you want. And of course, I am here to answer any and all questions you may have about it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. Alrighty, this slip stitch join as you go technique is so simple and easy to do and honestly super fun and customizable as well. So I'm going to start off by making a slip knot. And I'm going to chain about 10 stitches for this sample, but you can make this as wide or as narrow as you'd like it to be. Now I have this little sample here. This is a very tiny version of my polychromatic blanket, which is the blanket that was um, used to create this technique. And then of course it used it throughout. Now what I did in this blanket is make each square the same exact um size and then I just used it to join as I go but the thing that I really want to make clear in this video is that you can make these columns as wide as you want them to be or as narrow or you could even make your column this way and then slip stitch across so really is so customizable and I just wanted to create this tutorial to kind of go along with this pattern and go into a little bit more detail about this technique so I'm gonna make a little sample here I'm just going to chain 10 stitches. Again, you can chain as many as you'd like. Um, and you could also use this for so many different things. You could do a blanket, a cardigan, a sweater, a pillow, so many different ideas. So like I said, I'm going to chain 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across, skipping this first chain, of course. So I'm simply going to single crochet in each stitch across. And you're going to work single crochet rows just by single crocheting in each stitch for as long as you want your columns to be. So you could change colors throughout the column if you want to make it nice and colorful. You could do all one color and make it like a striped vertical look. Any design that you want to do, you can absolutely do. You're just going to make this column as long as you want it to be. And then meet me back here and we will start with the actual slip stitch technique. So... I'm going to work, I don't know, between 10 and 20 rows for this little sample. And then I will meet you back here and we will start the join as you go technique. Alrighty, so I have worked a good number of rows and I have completed column one of this little sample that I am making. Now, we are going to be joining our next column right across here. We're going to be slip stitching across this edge and creating a column as we go. So the next column has to be the exact same length as this column, but it could be a different width. So for example, I chained 10 stitches for this column. I could do like six for the next column and make it about half as wide. I could also flip it this way and that would result in a horizontal piece. And so I would still single crochet just like normal across this edge, you know, again, still working this, um, this direction, but then it would result in a project that would be horizontal so just make those decisions for yourself also note that this needs to be as long as you want your project to be so if you're doing like a blanket and you want the stripes to be going vertical this should be as long as you want your blanket to be if you are resulting in a horizontal blanket or excuse me in a blanket where the stripes are going horizontal then you want this to be as wide as your blanket is going to be and you are creating the length Whatever direction you want your ending stripes to go, you will still follow the same exact instructions. So I'm going to bring up my next color, which is going to be this pink here. And I'm going to join my yarn to the very first stitch of the first row. So I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch. And I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Now, like I mentioned, you can make this next column in any column as wide as you want it to be. So for this one, just for fun and being able to show you what different um, options you have with this design, you can, I'm going to make it um, a little bit narrower. So I'm going to chain six, just like this. Now, just like for this first row, I'm going to skip this first chain, 
and single crochet in each stitch across. Now once I get to the end here, this is where the joining as you go method is really going to begin. So I single crocheted into that last chain. I'm just pulling that tail nice and tight to keep it secure. And then I'm going to slip stitch across the next two rows. So I'm going to insert my hook into this first row and work a slip stitch. And then also into the second row of the previous column and slip stitch there as well. So that is our slip stitch technique. And now I'm going to chain one and turn to begin row two. Now I'm going to skip these two slip stitches and single crochet in each stitch across. Just like this. And now I'm going to proceed to the next row. So I'm going to chain one and turn. Single crochet again all the way till you get to that last stitch. And then of course we're going to work into that last stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next two rows again. So we're going to insert a hook and slip stitch into that, that row. And then insert a hook into the next row and slip stitch into it. And that's it. That is the slip stitch method. So we're going to simply repeat these two rows. Skip those slip stitches. Single crochet in each stitch across. And then chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch across until we get to that previous column. Just like that. And then slip stitch in the next two rows. And that's all there is to it, guys. So I'm simply just going to repeat those rows, rows two and three, until I get to the end of my column here. And then we can simply repeat that for however many columns we want to do. So you can join again, just like we did before, to this stitch. Work your next column as wide or as narrow as you want it to be. Slip stitching two stitches at a time all the way across. And you can make your project as big as you want it to be. And that is all there is to it to this slip stitch join as you go technique. So I'm going to continue slip stitching all the way across and working my rows. I'll meet you back here for this next column and I'll show you how to do all of that one more time. Alrighty, so I'm on my last pattern repeat so I thought I would show you it one more time. I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across until we get to that previous column's edge. Just like that. I'm going to slip stitch into the next two rows, which is my last two. So slip stitch into the, that next row, slip stitch into the row after that, chain one and turn and work our last row. So simply skip those two slip stitches and single crochet in each stitch across. Just like so. Isn't this technique fun? So now I'm going to cut this color and I'm actually going to bring back up the gray color to work my last column in it for this little sample. So obviously your project is most likely going to be much bigger than this, but I would suggest doing a small sample at the beginning just to get a hang of this technique. Just like we did for this second column, we are going to join our yarn to the first stitch. So I'm simply going to insert my hook into this very first stitch that we worked for row one and pull up a loop. And then I'm going to chain the same number that I did for, in my case for this first column. So again, you can chain however many you want. The number of chains does not matter. It's just the rows that have to be the same length. So I'm going to chain 10. There's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now I'm going to repeat all of the steps that I did for this second column end. Slide all of these ends out of the way. There we go. So I'm going to skip this first uh, chain for row one and we're going to single crochet in each chain across until we get to that previous column's edge. This one's a little bit wider like I mentioned so it'll take me a second more to get to that edge. Almost there and there we go and again I'm just going to pull this tail nice and tight so that it's secure. And then just like before I'm going to slip stitch into the next two rows so I'm going to slip stitch into row one so that the first row lines up just like this. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next row so that it lines up. And then I'm going to chain one and turn. Skip those two slip stitches and then single crochet in each stitch across. 
And this is row two. And then for row three, I'm almost to the end of this row two. So I will start the row three in just a second. There we go. Row three, we are going to chain one and turn. Just like we did for row one, we are going to single crochet in each stitch across until we get to that previous column's edge. This is such a customizable idea and that is definitely my goal in creating this video is just to show you how to do it so that you can use it for whatever projects you would like. So I'm to that edge, I'm gonna slip stitch again into the next two rows, just like that. And then I will chain one and turn and single crochet in each stitch across after skipping those two slip stitches. And that is all there is to it for this technique. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Like I said, I absolutely love this technique. It is super beginner friendly and the possibilities are endless. Some things that I am planning on making it in the future or making with it in the future is definitely a scrappy blanket. I'm gonna combine a whole bunch of different scraps and just make the columns as wide or as narrow as I want them to be and make a big blanket. I also really want to design a cardigan in the future using this technique and make vertical stripes. Like I mentioned, you could simply flip the project the opposite way and make the stripes go horizontal, which I think would be so, so cute as well. Like I said, again, the possibilities are completely endless. And again, I am more than happy to answer any and all questions you may have. You can find my contact information and all of my other social media platforms and pattern shops and the materials that I use in this video linked in the description box below. So be sure to check those out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy making. Bye!